To be able to minister personally with the pastor of this online church by text and phone, that is amazing. Partnership with this ministry is a great idea. If you're tired of feeling stuck in your life, then go ahead and coach with Wayne. Partner with the ministry and watch your life change. I highly recommend becoming a partner with this ministry. Um, you know, the mentorship program is just the best decision you could ever make. So, uh, so yeah, thanks again. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Second Adam TV, your online church, your place for prophetic counseling, daily video blogs, online church, and so much more. I want to welcome you. I'm Pastor Wayne here in Wilmington, North Carolina, and this is your online church. Why do I say that? Because this is the ecclesia, the body, amen, is you and me and everyone else watching this coming together in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank every one of you. If this is the first time watching us, then be sure to go to yourprophecynews.com, yourprophecynews.com to sign up for our prophetic newsletter, to be on board with these online church sermons and so much more. If you've been with us for months or even years, amen, then welcome home. Welcome home. We honor you and thank you for being a part of it. I want to jump in with prayer requests. If you need prayer, go to thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer, thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer, and let our prayer team pray for you. We're seeing miracles, we're believing for breakthroughs, and I'm expecting, hallelujah, this to be your day, your day for your miracle. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm glad to be with you today. Today we're going to go into prophetic destiny. Now last week we talked about prophetic identity. Identifying who you are in Christ, the kingdom of God. If you missed it, then go back and be sure to check it out on the secondadam.tv. If you're looking at this on YouTube, Vimeo, Roku, then you'll have to go back and check out next week's sermon, or last week's sermon. And this week we're talking about prophetic destiny. Next week, prophetic relationships. How to move into relationships in the prophetic realm. But today, prophetic destiny. Let me ask you, have you ever thought to yourself, have you ever thought to yourself, what is my destiny? What is my calling? What is my purpose in life? If so, then this sermon is for you. And I'm going to ask you to share this sermon. Share it with someone else you know. There's people just like you, just like me, that have, been, have said, what is my purpose? What is my destiny? And we're going to talk about how to understand our global, pur hallelujah, global purpose, amen, as a child of God, and our individual purposes as an individual member of the body, amen. So, again, if you need a prayer request, go to thesecondadam.com, place your prayer request. To our partners, amen, we honor you, we bless you, thank you for helping us support the ministry. Those who've signed up as a destiny partner, if you've signed up as a destiny partner, amen, then you need to go ahead and begin to book out your sessions for the month of July. Go to schedulewithwayne.com, schedulewithwayne.com for your favorite partner and schedule your sessions with us. Now, let's jump into prophetic destiny. Let's jump into Prophetic Destiny. I'm going to ask you to do a couple things. Number one, if you're watching this, cut off Facebook, cut off the TV, do whatever you have to do and focus in on this because this is going to be important for you. We're going to be brief today, but it's going to be brief yet very important. Also, share this video, share this sermon, wherever you're watching it, whatever platform, amen, that you're able to watch this on, click the share button, let other people know. We greatly appreciate it. Now. As a couple of things. Number one, as our destiny, one of the things we have to look at is what God has called us into. And I'm at Matthew 10, 8. Matthew 10, 8, it says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those, cleanse the lepers, cleanse those with leprosy, cast out devils. That is our calling. As a global body of Christ, we're to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, preach the kingdom of God. Amen. That is our calling. Now, for some, that means going from country to country and city to city and hut to hut and, and maybe homeless shelter to homeless shelter. For other people, it means doing it through the internet. For other people, it means the people that you work with. We all have different arenas that we all pray and manifest. Amen. God's goodness through. Amen. But we are to all be responsible for that. Heal the, listen to me, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Amen. And as we go through different um, future sermons, should I say, we're going to begin to look at what does it mean to heal the sick? What does it mean to raise the dead? Does he mean literally raise the dead? 
Uh, yes, but there's also more than that. What does it mean to cleanse out leprosy? Most of us today, thankfully, in the in the um, world, we do not have to deal with leprosy. There are parts of the world that do. What does it mean to drive out demons? Are we to cast out devils? Absolutely, we're to cast out devils. Take people through deliverance. Bring them into healing. Amen. And we're going to talk about that. Now, so go back and read. Go back and read Matthew 10 and 8 and let that just resonate within your soul. Amen. Now, also, though, we're going to ask you to do a few things. We're going to give you two questions today. These two questions, amen, are simply two questions from our coaching playbook. Those who've coached with me, prosperwithwayne.com, you know uh, we go deep into the realm of destiny and purpose. We're going to take two questions today from that coach's playbook, and we're going to bring into your home, your hallelujah, your life today. Number one question is, what do you love? Think about this. What do you truly love? And some of you may be saying, well, I love my children, I love my God, I love church, I love my job, I love uh, freedom, I love you know, whatever that is. It's not for me to give you the answer. It's for you to ask yourself, what do I love? And just as I ask you to shut down Facebook, cut off the phone, cut off the TV, I'm, this is very important right now. What do you love? Can you write it out? Can you take the time to write it out? What do you love? Number two, what is it within you? What is it within you that you hate or maybe you despise? That you hate, that it angers you or you despise? I want you to write them down. See, now, this is where a lot of Christians have a problem. They think, well, I'm, I'm so full of love, Pastor Wayne, there's nothing I hate. Well, that's nonsense. Of course you do. Things I hate. There's things that despise, I despise, things that irritate me. So I want you to write them down. The first question is, what do you love? The second question, totally flip side of that, is what irritates you? What really angers you? Just, what do you despise seeing? Why is that important? We'll come to that in a moment. But you take a few moments. In fact, click pause on this video. Don't answer it quick. Click pause. Come up with three, four, five answers for each of those questions. What do you love? What do you hate? And you can do that. I'm going to show you the way God has created you and already placed your purpose within. Amen? While I'm waiting for you to do that, while I'm waiting, because I believe it's going to take a few minutes, I want you to think about it again. Click pause. Never just watch the video. Go through and do these exercises. Amen? But while we're waiting on you to do that, I want to talk to you also. I want to talk to every one of you about that destiny partnership we talked about earlier. It is your opportunity to get on the phone with me once a month, to be able to get my cell phone, you'll be able to text me, you'll be able to email me, but you'll be able to get on the phone with me once a month, and we're going to be able to coach you, counsel you through, your part, through this partnership in areas of your destiny, in areas of relationships, areas of finance, areas of your personal identity with God, your physical health. What you need is where we're going to come prophetically and ask the Lord to bring an answer, to bring deliverance, to bring healing. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to consider that the secondadam.com forward slash partner. The third level is Amen Destiny Partnership. Jump on board. We only have a few limit we only have a few spots open. They're limited because of the personal time you have with me. So jump on board and I look forward to ministering to you. The ability to look and see, the ability to see what you love, again, the gifts and skills you contain. See, that's what love is. When you said, I love this, Pastor Wayne, you listed them out, I want you to understand that what you love uniquely is very important to you because love gives birth to determination. Love gives birth to determination. I love my family. So I'm determined to work within my family, to work and help build my family up, to, to love my family, to go through challenges and trials and tribulations because there's love there. There's determination. I also love the kingdom of God and love seeing the kingdom of God break free from religious strongholds. So what am I doing? I'm speaking love. I'm speaking persistence. I'm speaking this. Amen. And I'm going to go through the trials, tribulations, willing to go through the struggle to see it become a reality. What about you? Number two, what do you hate? What do you hate? What do you despise? What irritates you? See, anger is not a bad thing. I want you to grab a hold of this. The Bible actually says, be angry, yet sin not. Think about that. Be angry, yet sin not. So it didn't say never be angry. It never called anger a sin. It's one of the emotions. God gave you emotions. Think about this. Have you ever thought about something that you didn't like? 
um, maybe it angered you. And then just a moment later, you think about things that really you enjoy, things that you honor, things that you, um, things that you love. Me, I think about the things in my life that God has given me. I think about the things He's blessed me with, the people He's blessed me with. Myself, I believe it's a focus upon that that keeps me moving forward in determination. Amen? Yeah, when you think about those other things, the things that you're angry with, it shows you, it shows you, listen to me, very important, it shows you what you've been called to correct, what you've been called to overcome. So, let's jump back. Number one, love births forth. It gives birth to determination, and it shows you your uniqueness. It shows you the gifts, the skills, the character attributes that you contain to change the world. It's what you love is what you will support. It's what you'll, when you love something, you'll spend time with it. When you love something, amen, when you have, really have love, you'll support it financially. You'll do what you must do. You'll make it a priority in your life. When you find something you de that you dislike, that you hate, what do you do with that? It shows you, it, it awakens you, it awakens you, listen to me now, to your purpose and destiny. It shows you what you're called to heal. I went through a terrible divorce years ago. It was painful, very painful. I hate divorce. When we read in the Word of God, God hates divorce. We never see, listen to me, God hates divorcees. God hates the ones that divorce. He says he hates divorce because it brings pain. So what did that do for me? It helped me realize that I'm the coach and I'm the counsel. It was one of the, the, one of the stepping stones in my career as, as a counselor, as a coach, as a therapist. Because it made me realize I'm there to help people that are going through the living hell and do not know where to get freedom. Amen? I also hate poverty. I grew up in poverty. I've seen people in poverty. I've seen how it hurts them. And I decided that I'm going to, it irritated me. It angered me. So I decided I don't want to live in it. I don't want to see people live in it. So now when I see people in poverty, I try to help them build up their own belief. Maybe you're watching this. Maybe you're in an area of poverty or lack. I'm telling you, you can do all things, all things through Christ that lives within you. If you can do all things, and God said it is His will that you prosper and be in good health, then say yes and amen. Come on. And when you recognize that, when you recognize that, then what you, you can hate something and be angry with it, yet sin not. In fact, you can turn it into a blessing. I can help those that are going through a divorce, that are going through trials and tribulations, that have gone through that. I can help them take them to another level. I can find people that are going through poverty or been in poverty, and I can help them recognize the prosperity, the goodness, the, the power, amen, of God's provision. So, when you recognize your love, you'll recognize your determination. When you recognize your hate, anger, then you'll recognize that which irritates you. Recognize that you, what you've been called to fix, overcome, and heal. Amen. You have problems. In fact, many of you, the problems that you have in your life is an indicator. The problem you have in your life today is an indicator of what you've been called to solve. Because when you learn to connect with God, connect with the Holy Spirit, say, Lord, come, Lord, teach me, Lord, share with me, and connect with Him, then you'll be able to bring other people into that same place. Amen? You'll be able to take other people from a place of turmoil into a place of victory. Amen? From a place of lack to a place of prosper. To a place of prosper. Amen? Come on. So, here's the two questions. Again, what do you love? Amen. I want you to write these down. I want you to take, seriously take time. Pen and paper, pen and paper. What do you love? What are you committed to? And then, what do you hate? What do you despise? What irritates you? And I want you to do this as an exercise. Now, this video is about to end. This is a short video. I said, amen. Share this video. Come on, guys. Share this video with someone. But after this video, after this online sermon, amen, I want you to take this and then move into the Word of God. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the dead, cast out demons, amen. That's your global calling, your personal, unique identity. Amen. What has God called you to do? A number of years ago, I was laying down in the middle of the day, laid down to take a nap. And as I laid down, something I don't do often, but as I laid down to take a nap, immediately in my dream, amen, the Lord visited me. And He spoke to me audibly and said, Tell my people what they can do. 
For the world is telling them what they cannot. Do you recognize the power? Immediately I woke up. And I knew then the Lord had came and visited and given me an instruction. I don't have to worry about my destiny, my purpose. My destiny, my purpose is right here. I'm speaking to you through this camera. When I speak to people face to face. When I speak to people through the phone for coaching and counseling. I'm telling them what they can do. I'm building up that belief. I'm placing, hallelujah, my faith with their faith. And we're activating miracles. Because the world, the world just telling them what they cannot do. Who will you believe? Will you believe the word of the Lord? Will you believe the word of the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. Will you believe that prophetic destiny that's within you? Or will you believe the world? I believe you can do all things. The purpose and destiny that you have. Maybe you're saying, Wayne, I'm 50 years old. I'm 40 years old. I'm 70 years old. I still don't know what my purpose is. I want to tell you part of your purpose. Heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 10, 8, grab a hold of it. Let it become a reality to you. Amen. Read it every day. The second purpose, amen, is to recognize what you love because that births determination. Amen. It shows you your uniqueness. Hallelujah. And then what you display spies or anger shows you what you're called to correct, called to heal. Amen. The problem that you've been assigned to. Amen. I want to counsel with you. I'm going to be very bold in this. I'm going to be very, very bold if you're watching this. I want to counsel with you. Go to the secondadam.com forward slash partner and look at the destiny of partnership. It's the third level. Amen. Look at it. Pray about it. And then jump on board. Jump on board because we're going to talk. We're going to look at where you're at in life, where God has called you, where you're moving. And we're going to put together a game plan. Amen. A game plan. Just like I've helped so many others. I want to help you determine your destiny, your purpose, and move in it. Amen. I'm going to be very bold in this sermon. I want to counsel with you. I want to coach you. I want to minister prophetically over your life to see you move in the prophetic destiny and glory that God has called you to do. To called you to be in. Called you to fulfill. Will you fulfill your purpose? Amen. What do you love? What do you hate? And who will you trust to mentor you and coach you through it? I'll honor every one of you. I've been very bold in this sermon. This isn't how this sermon was going. But I felt the boldness. Because it's one thing to watch a video and say amen. It's another thing to say I'm going to change my life. I'm going to take the excuses. I'm going to take that voice that says I don't know. There's still small voices. And I'm going to contain them all up. And I'm going to throw them to the side. And I'm going to connect. And I'm going to make a difference. And I'm going to decide. Amen. Take hallelujah and partner with the ministry. And make a difference in your life. Discover your destiny. Discover your breakthrough. Amen. Wow. Listen to me, guys. I honor every one of you. I honor every one of you. I just look forward to ministering over you, speaking over you, to helping you go to another level. If you're watching this, and again, you haven't signed up for our newsletter, go to yourprophecynews.com. For our partners, I speak a prophetic blessing over your seeds, over your love offerings, and over your tithe. Have you sent your tithe in? Have you sent your love offering in? Have you, amen, are you partnering with us? Then I speak a destiny blessing over that. In fact, the Word of God tells us every seed, Every seed produces after its own kind. So I speak a prophetic blessing over your financial seed for a financial harvest. I break off the spirit of debt, spirit of poverty, and I speak a special blessing over every seed. Amen for the manifestation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen to me, guys. If you want to give, by, uh, it's really easy by text messaging. This text... The, the, num the letters TSA, TSA, the TSA to 77977. That's TSA to 77977. You'll be signed up, amen, in our online partnership and you'll be able to sow through the text message. And I love that. I love being able to do that at my local church, amen. It's easy for me, amen. And I know that I've sown and I, it's just something I can do. I can give into the kingdom of God. And when you give into the kingdom of God, you're saying, Lord, I love you, Lord, I trust you. Amen. Also, for our partners, amen, watch for this month's special resource. This month's special resource is called Prophetic Wealth. It's only available to partners. It's not on our website. Prophetic Wealth is going to be a blessing to you. Now, I honor every one of you. Bless you. This is Pastor Wayne. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything you'd love to talk with us about, let us know. Remember to visit us at thesecondadam.com. Having said that, I want to release a blessing over every one of you. Go back, watch this. Go back and watch this again. Write out the questions. Let the Holy Spirit 
speak into your life. I tell many people, when you look at a sermon once, amen, I believe that it's going to speak into your heart. But sometimes when you, go, when you honor God by saying, I'm going to watch it one more time. I'm going to go back again. Then you're allowing them. See, the mind's already took in all this information. Amen. The mind, your mind has already taken in all of this information and allowed you to make good decisions. When you watch it again, Amen. Then you're allowing the Holy Spirit time to go back in and speak into your heart. And that's what I believe. And I believe in every single one of you. I believe in you watching this online sermon. Because I believe in the Christ in you. Until next week. Be with us next week. We talk about prophetic relationships. Amen. What God has shown me. Hallelujah. Through divorce. Through remarriage. Amen. Through business relationships. Personal relationships. We're going to talk about the prophetic reality of God's purpose for you. This is Wayne Sutton, thesecondadam.com. Be sure to share this. Amen and God bless. Hello, this is Danny, and I want to just kind of share a personal testimonial with everyone. Uh, not long ago, uh, Pastor Wayne uh, contacted me through email. He prayed for me, you know, uh, you know, and it was kind of one of those things that, you know, you look back on it and you say to yourself, you know, God works in all kinds of ways. Um, and you just never know how he connects with you to deliver you uh, messages. And so uh, the honest testimony is that, you know, I haven't been to uh, church in a while. And it's been quite some time, well, you know, a month or so. And I've been very, very busy working on new ideas. And so it's kind of ironic. Uh, and I think nothing just happens, right? So uh, God reaches me through the computer, which that's why I was spending countless and countless and countless of hours working on new ideas and projects. And so uh, I just want to say, you know, for those of you out there, I mean, um, you just never know where your next word of God is going to come from. You never know how. And so uh, you, you just got to be open to receive it uh, and everything else. And I just want to say uh, to Pastor Wayne, you know, you uh, said a lot of great things uh, in your prayer. Um, uh, especially when we talk about the doves and going in directions and then I look at me being what I call a Pisces and it's two fish you know going in different directions so all my life I've always been a dream and everything else and I just want to say God bless uh, and thank you uh, for just reaching out uh, with your message and uh, you too have a calling as well and uh, keep doing it there's a lot of people uh, that you're going to reach um, here on the web you know with your with your calling and, and